we are now going to look at entity relationship diagrams, which are basically schemas used to display and plan out what a relational database is going to look like. So if we're going to look at our entity relationship diagram, we first establish our entities. So basically, in this example, we're looking at a license entity, a registration entity, and a car entity. These are our entities. For each entity, then, we put in our attributes. So in the license attribute, we'd have license ID, surname, first name, address, phone number, and date of birth. So basically, if we're going to compare it to a flat file database, the attributes are our fields. Okay, so in registration, we've got our license ID and car ID and whether it is registered. Okay, and in our car ID, we've got car, model, year and colour. Okay, so we've got our entities and our attributes. But the thing about a relational database is that the different tables are related. So the license ID would then be connected to the license ID in registration. Okay. This would be a many to one relationship because obviously many license holders could be registered to the one car. For the car and the registration ID, it would be a many to one from the car to the registration because many cars can be registered but only one at a time. So we just need to understand that an entity relationship diagram outlines the entities being the, what the databases are about, the attributes which is the different fields within those databases and the relationships, basically one-to-one, one-to-many and many-to-many. -many. 